How's it going everybody? My name is Dev Kriya. I'm an artist based out of Harrisonburg, Virginia, and today we're going to be working on a painting. Alright, let's get right into it. This is an acrylic piece. It is the third and final part of one of my series. The series is called Passing Time, and basically what I wanted was to create one scene, but set in different times. So with each period of time, I chose a different medium. I did the sunrise with watercolor, I did the day scene, which is this one, using acrylic paint, and then for the final scene, I did a night scene using only ink and white pens. And all in all, this series has been so fun to work on. It's been a challenge, and it's forced me to work with a bunch of different mediums that I'm not super familiar with. But that was a fun challenge, and now I have three completed pieces that all have this cohesive oneness about them, and I don't know, it's just it's just really, really cool, and my idea was to have this series sold as a set, so whoever gets it would get all three pieces for the same price, and they would be able to see this frog passing time. You know, and like, acrylic is one of those series, one of those mediums, I mean rather, that I don't use super often, but every time I do, it's so fun to work with. I can really layer up all everything and, you know, flush it out until I'm happy with it, and that's pretty cool. You can do the same thing with other mediums like watercolor, but it's a little harder because it's not as opaque, so you have to really be mindful of starting with really light colors and building up the values, whereas acrylic, you know, you can work with any value and just darken it or lighten it as you need to. Something that's really cool to me about time lapses is not only do you see the, the piece being made, but you also see the elements of my environment also changing. So like, you'll see my palette add more colors, and I'll mix different colors to get the right values I'm looking for. You'll see my jars of water to start to change colors as well. And then you'll also see the rag that I wipe off the excess paint, you know, getting more colorful and more splotchy. And that's just, a, it's a little element to my process that I really enjoy. Because you get to see everything happen, and that's what I love about time lapses. So here you see that I am working from the background to the foreground. This just makes sure that everything dries before I go on to the next piece, and I'm not touching my hand on wet paint and messing up the piece in those little areas. But now I'm just going in and I'm adding the smoke layer, uh, just a base layer of like a cool gray. I go through eventually and I, I render it out and I make everything you know have shadows and highlights and seem more lifelike and honestly that's a really good painting tip in general is just you know whatever medium you're working on um, if you just go through and add some shadows and highlights it instantly takes your piece to the next level and uh, kind of an art hack it's not really an art hack but you know it's just a part of the process but Whatever I actually do that to my pieces, even if I'm not super happy with how they're turning out beforehand, I just have to remind myself that it's not done yet, I'm going to be going through and flushing everything out, and it's going to look a lot better by the end of it. Anyway, one thing I've also realized with my lighting setup on this current piece, uh, how I was recording it at the time, um, the overhead light kind of washes out the rest of the color and you don't fully see everything that's being created there's just too much of a shine on it so i have since learned how to fix that but you know so i apologize for the low quality of this video but i'd rather get this video out and show y'all how i do it in perfections and all and then just showcase the finished piece at the end of it just so you can get a full cohesive look at my process. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all enjoy the process for a bit, and then I'll come back a little later.
then right about here is where my camera died uh, without me realizing it, and I lost about an hour worth of footage. Yeah, which sucked. But I have more footage coming up. Just wanted to let y'all know what happened. But uh, yeah. Thankfully, there was still you know about 40 minutes left in the recording for y'all to see. So there's still plenty of time to see me go back through and render everything, adjust the shadows, and more of the values that way. Um, but you know, in the meantime. I want y'all to just relax and enjoy the video. If you haven't drinking any water yet today, you know, or if you haven't drinking any in a while, uh, this is a hydration checkpoint. So, you know, let's go grab some water and enjoy. So at this point in the video, I just want to take a second and thank you all so, so much for watching. If you made it this far, you are absolutely amazing and I love you so much. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. If not, you know, that's totally cool. That's your prerogative. If you want to see more of my art, you can check me out on Instagram at devkorea. And if you would like to support the channel, you can either go to my website deviantcreations.com or you can go to my patreon and for as little as a dollar a month you can help support the channel and you know if you want to do that that's patreon.com forward slash deviant creations and you'll get all kinds of behind the scenes content and even bonus goodies and stuff like that all right well thank you so much enjoy the rest of the video and thank you again stay deviant Thank you.